good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Sanjeev Udas. I am the co-founder at Empercept Technology. Uh, without further ado, uh, let's get into the panel discussion. As you can see, we have a very young and brilliant panel with us. So we would like to get their experience and you know, try to learn as much as we can from this our session, uh, focusing on why Nepal more than ever needs to look into IoT and AI, and if these technologies can lead Nepal to a very brighter and efficient future. Uh, so let me discuss the session plan. Uh, we'll focus, uh, we'll start off by introducing the panelists by themselves. They will talk a little bit about their work, and then we'll focus on to some basic uh, topics on IoT and AI, and then we'll move on to specific areas. Uh, I would like to invite the audience, whenever they can, uh, to ask questions to our panelists. Uh, so let's get started straight away. Uh, I would like to start off with Sagar to introduce himself and the work he has been doing till now in a very short introduction. So uh, my name is Sagar Sresta, and uh, you know I am the head of product development at uh, Pilot Technology. So after graduating from uh, Pulsar Campus IOE, I started uh, this company called Pilot Technology with uh, six other people. And uh, ever since then, uh, it's been two and a half years I've been in the company, and we have uh, a bunch of wonderful products. And uh, along the years, uh, uh, we have also uh, launched, or co I've also co-founded uh, Nolo Restaurant, which is a robotic restaurant, and uh, we are planning to uh, bring the chain of this restaurant uh, across Nepal. And um, currently the major products at Paila is uh, a business of this uh, general purpose business assistant robot named Pari, and a um, waiter robot called Ginger, and then finally a chatbot named Query. So this is uh, about me and Paila in short. Okay, thank you, uh, Sagar. We move on to Mr. Dwarika Prasad. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Dwarika Prasad, and uh, I work for Cisco Systems. I'm a solution architect, uh, uh, primarily responsible for mobility architecture. Uh, I, uh, my responsibility span across India and SAR countries. Uh, here, primarily, I work on uh, mobility, as I said, uh, primarily around that, and now we can see that there is a lot of uh, uh, requirement which is coming around uh, the IoT space and that's where I am working with all the service providers around uh, the IoT use cases uh, so uh, it would be glad uh, to uh, interact with you and uh, thank you okay thank you very, very much uh, let's move on to Alok Subedi uh, namaste, so is an alike. Ma Alok Subedi. I'm a recent returnee from the United States. Uh, Miro background, one of the I say. Initially, uh, I moved to the United States in 2007, and then uh, I studied in Oklahoma, uh, then dropped out, uh, moved to California. Then, uh, we friends, we started a company called uh, Silicon Hire uh, back in 2012. When we started, we started as a legal process outsourcing company, and then we moved on to legal technology after that. After a few successful USPTO trademarks and all of that, uh, we uh, decided we need to now give it back to our own country and then uh, start doing something uh, in Nepal as well. And that's when we opened the Silicon Hire Private Limited in Nepal uh, four years back. Uh, uh, once I moved back last year down here after looking at a lot of problems and uh, a lot of spaces to do things in the country, we opened up our new startup called Visual Technologies. Uh, through visual technologies right now, we are catering to restaurants with our order management system that is IRD certified, that does the inventory management as well, and your billing management as well. We also run an e-commerce uh, venture called Biroxy.com. It's basically an alcohol delivery service around Kathmandu Valley. And our most recent one product that we are very proud of to bring into Nepal, Nepal Me Poneko, Nepali Kolagi, is Connect Home. That's our uh, smart home solutions that has been entirely built in Nepal and caters to Nepal and the specific Nepali problems that we face every single day. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Alok. Uh, let's move on to Ashish Parajuli. Hello, good morning, everyone. Thank you, Sanjeev. Uh, so I, I'm Ashish Parajuli, co-founder of Empress of Academy. Uh, 
main say more say certified big data and AI engineer bunch. So we have been what we have been working is Nepal my AI data science. So this is basically technology or the Nepal my data versa pichadi aunu versa bunny change change. So yeah, we change one of those things like. Then AI data science ma main 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 problem bunny Nepal ma bunny kuch main power problem or bhai rasa. Ani I mean say. AI data science skill set si kaise grow karna shocking sa ta. Bani rache academically uncha ya industry level ma uncha ya community level ma uncha. We have been working on that. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for all the panelists to keep it very short because we are on a time uh, limit. Uh, so let's focus the next 20 minutes uh, discussing about IoT, right? Uh, as everyone knows, uh, there's there's been going a lot of talks about I IoT and AI. Everyone's fascinated with things like Alexa, and it is estimated by 2025 that 21 billion devices will be connected uh, in terms of IoT. So my question to Alok is, you know, uh, why do you think IoT is on the rise, and is it high time for Nepal to start taking IoT serious? So basically, IoT is anything, any devices and anything that are connected to the internet that basically allows you to uh, make your life simpler, easier, efficient, and, and be more productive. And uh, having said that, uh, bringing it back to the context of Nepal, uh, there are so many problems that we see on our day-to-day -day basis. Uh, have it be the traffic lights or have it be the water pump at your own house. So uh, because of, because of uh, IoT devices, uh, what it allows you to do is it it basically eliminates the three D's from your life. The three D's are dull, difficult, and dangerous. Those three things that you do on a daily basis that gets eliminated, and that that allows the machine machine basically does it for you. Uh, let me let me simplify and put it in perspective for uh, what we do on a daily basis. So we generally in Kathmandu Valley we have a, a two-story, three-story house where we have a a uh, water tank at the ground floor, and then we have a water tank at the top floor. And that's a repetitive process that we do every single day. The water has to be pumped to the top, and then it comes out, and we use it, and then it runs out every single day. And that, we, that, give, that basically is a routine task that we do every single day. But now with an IoT device, what you can do is you can just schedule it, and then the sensors can actually uh, detect when the water is running out on the top floor tank and when the water is actually full on the ground floor tank and it automatically does it for you. And similarly, during the winter time, you, you might not be comfortable trying to go out there and turn the lights off, where, whereas now you can do it over voice control and uh, through your phone. Uh, similarly, uh, the cameras and all the security systems that are in your house can be monitored from anywhere in the world. And that's what IoT does for you. IoT basically does all the manual work for you. And this saves you money, it gives you analytics that can help you make better decisions in your life, and eventually gives you freedom. And with that freedom, that time and space, you can, again, be more creative and create a lot of things that makes a difference. Okay, thank you. Uh, in our previous presentation by Hadith, uh, we saw some of the use cases uh, of IoT that, uh, that can be enabled in Nepal, right? So my next question to Mr. Dwarika Prasad is, you know, uh, we talked about uh, smart lights and things like that, but what could be other areas that, you know, Nepal can look into? I think uh, Alok has already set the stage uh, uh, by giving a, a good example where he is using an automation uh, to, uh, uh, to take care of the uh, water uh, storage process part of it and ensure that the water is also not wasted, right? So uh, if you look at uh, from an IoT use case, right, what we are trying to look at in use cases, uh, what is that we want to focus, right? We have so many problems to address, but yeah, I mean, we cannot solve everything at one go. It is not that it is not doable, but I mean, you need to do it in a sequence because it is not just about uh, uh, sensors, it is not just about connectivity, but it is about even building a database of all this particular data, creating that, and then using that data for uh, taking a step so that you can really utilize it, right? So it is a complete ecosystem. Now, if I look at it from that perspective, the uh, biggest thing today uh, from a challenge perspective would be uh, the scarce environmental resource like what Alok has said, uh, water is one. Then you have uh, even the, uh, with the number of vehicles increasing, 
what you have is a pollution which is there. I could see on while coming on the way, there are a lot of people uh, with masks who are walking on the street, right? So it has become difficult from us. So what we need to look at is an use case which is going to help us actually, right? As an individual, not like a techno, not a technology just for the sake of a technology, but from a use case perspective. Similar to that, as uh, uh, Hadik, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, he pointed it out about uh, uh, the use case around. Uh, uh, the earthquake, because we know that we, the kind of devastation that what we had uh, last time, right? Uh, of course, uh, uh, the earthquake which came in, of course, is a natural calamity which cannot be predicted as such, but still, I think IoT can still help to a greater extent there. We can have a lot of sensors which can start giving you the readers, right? Like in ocean, when there is a tsunami which comes in, there is a tsunami, a tsunami buoy which is floating all across the ocean. Right, and there is a data which goes back. So there is a prediction which comes in out of it. So similar to that, from a Nepal perspective, what I feel is, agriculture sector is one what we have to look at because uh, agriculture is an important uh, sector for uh, a Nepal perspective, where you can look at the moisture level. Based on the moisture, you can really pump in the water required to grow the plants, right? Uh, to grow the, uh, and similarly, based on the kind of a temperature what you are in, you will come to know whether the uh, 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 the uh, uh, agriculture uh, product is ready for reaping it out or how it goes. So, uh, and other uh, critical aspect what I have seen is uh, uh, Nepal being a, a pure uh, tourism industry, there is a huge tourist uh, inflow here, right? So there is a lot of, uh, uh, if from a tourist perspective, what is that you look at? You look at, uh, of course, there are revenue uh, generator for us. So what you have to look at is as from a security perspective, how you can take care of them. And since there are a lot of mountaineering activity which happens within Nepal, uh, there could be a lot of sensors, like when they, uh, when they go to the Mount Everest kind of a mountain, right? So uh, you really don't know the health condition because the health condition changes as they move up and up, right? So there can be IoT sensors, like they can be part of the harness that can give you reading. And at a different stages or different uh, levels, you will know the health condition of the mountaineers, right? So these are few use cases we can look at. And uh, I think the most important would be the traffic management part of it, because uh, I can see the traffic uh, uh, will get worse as the population density increases. And this will come into control only when we have uh, a traffic management kind of a uh, uh, use case deployed, where the violators are instantly penalized through their bank account or whatever it is, right? Because in order to bring in a discipline, you need to have, take some hard steps initially so that you have a better life. This okay. is what my thoughts. Uh, thank you. In Nepal, what have you seen in technology came up. Everyone knows how to do it. Every student wants to learn that technology. If you don't have any trends, you can see trends. My next question to Saga is, you know, there is this... Uh, thought process that uh, people are starting to think abroad that uh, IoT could turn us into things, you know. So, in terms of challenges, uh, I know, Nepal ko context ma, just thinking, for people who are trying to get into IoT, or IoT ma chhira hai ri, ya IoT le liya unne sakne challenges haru, ki just the last of all. I think one of the major uh, securities say, it's uh, issue say, uh, privacy को होने वाला था IoT devices एकदम देरे explode बाहर गए पसी से अब त्यों से त्यों security पनी अब privacy पनी अब हमले नौ देखे को दोस्तो privacy है ना इले जोन internet माँ उनसानी privacy issues Google लाई data दे दे फिर Facebook लाई data फिर दे it's the same form of uh, privacy issue जैसे तो अब एको अब camera से internet माँ connected था बनी जोन vendor ले तो अबे camera provide करे को था this later the data Solano socks of a issue on a uh, I think uh, the benefits are far outweighs the these kind of issues to say these devices will be used either you, mm, or not you like it or um, uh, I think uh, I'm more focused I'm more optimistic about these technologies you know when a for example take uh, take for example the surveillance cameras, the surveillance camera, and this is the surveillance camera, and multiple ACs. When you have two devices, communicate with the surveillance camera, and 
they, they can, uh, with AI, they can do a lot of things that uh, wouldn't be possible now. For example, um, by looking at the number of people in it, it can uh, know how many ACs to turn on, because um, um, in a big room, a single AC may not be uh, enough to uh, make the temperature to what you desire. And this was this they connected in this let's say there are opportunities later on so challenges would be mostly about privacy and this was see for uh, another question was uh, about about students, students yeah for students getting into iot you know what what do you think what is your suggestions to them you know um over you iot one you see completely new technology over let's say milena i think uh, students have been going into iot all the time of a i'm lipony over just a device of internet connect internet of thing IoT device bonds, okay? Just a I'm Nolo restaurant when you collect some just my robot lay sort or sign. This my key on Savani, this my horrific devices table pony your IoT device, robot pony your IoT device, on the kitchen maracaco your screen pony IoT device, I'm the billing system pony IoT device. But because of the interconnection between them and communication between them. It's been possible to, um, you know, serve the customer end to end. Table ma goera order ale posi. Robot will know the, your order and the table number. The kitchen will know your order and table number. When the ki um, kitchen ma food prepare boy se kabe Robot will know that the food is prepared and it has to go fetch it. And then we see the uh, customer at the table will know your food is prepared and it's it's coming in. And this was and the billing software will know that and um, this. Thing has been cooked, so over your storage, but as a eighty quantity, say, com boys, so your food colagi use Goreko Boyra. So I think in the interconnectedness between these things is the true power of IoT. Uh, any IoT devices, uh, I don't see any uh, such challenges because um, students or the opportunities there, so I'm not very concerned about them. Okay. Sanjeev, I want to make one point here. So, sure. since it was related to the students, right? So, if you look at uh, IoT as an ecosystem, right? Uh, so, uh, you have the sensors, you have the network, uh, you have the data center. But what is more critical uh, from an IoT use case is the data scientist part of it. Data science, right? So, this is one of the sector with, where uh, the industry is lacking uh, the number of uh, actual data scientists what uh, we need in order to really make it really successful, right? We have uh, artificial intelligence, we have machine learning, all these technologies are there, but what we need is to bring in those algorithms, the knowledge, how we can enrich those information that are getting collected in a huge amount. So from a student perspective, I would suggest that there is a lot of scope around uh, the data science, right? And uh, if you can really focus around it, uh, there can be magics what we can do or whatever the use cases what we are talking about today I mean they can be really deployable okay thank you so as we have touched on the topic AI and data science itself right uh, my question to Ashish is where does AI we, we did talk a little bit about how AI will fit in right but from your perspective where will AI fit in and is it a match or are we trying to just forcefully put it together just to make it fancy? Okay. Uh, so, I would like to say that IoT is the first thing that the device is internet connected to IoT. Let's say camera. Camera, if it's connected to internet, if you can see live streaming from somewhere else, this is called IoT, but where we'll be able to put algorithms, write algorithms inside that and uh, analyze those video streams. They video streams are usable for a convert on a software. That is called, that is what we are talking about, AI, big data, data science, whatever technology that we have, we have been talking, all those comes in, in that uh, field. So, let's say, for example, IoT device itself is not sufficient, AI is voice like Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, those big companies like Nokia, Look, those companies are investing huge amounts of their about like investment into AI and data science. Oily, I'm Google I/O or anyway, like Oily, I'm like Apple go conference or like big big companies go conference here. Anyway, say 
they are saying like we are investing this, this, this on AI, AI. Most of the talk uh, are on related to AI. They were to keep on so I live on the I'll prove up neither it's only that I let it is not it's a oil in electricity one who bought up even systems on love on it you know oil is a electricity is not sufficient to run industries or to run appliances devices so so AI is an electricity data is oil one inside that the data like the purify gonna so that there is a I mean it's a process gonna so go to the very day I'm just what are they in better information they can also consider a better decision than a sock into like businesses case like let me give you example for ISPs let's say for Suvisu if Suvisu is able to analyze the uses pattern of routers those are connected to the different users home if we are able to analyze those uses pattern then we should not wait Suvisu should not wait for the customer to call them every time please my internet is, internet is not working right now before before customer calling you we can uh, give decisions, give actions to the users' devices to maintain those those scenarios. Right now, those scenarios are not difficult, and you already you already can get those scenarios with your data with all you, with your information that they are coming from the router to your server. Right now, you already have those, but they are spread they are spreaded everywhere. You have to just collect all those information in a container, like these days we are calling big data. Big data in the sense like all those informations, you have different variety of information, let's say audio, video, text, all those information that they, you can gather all information in a place, analyze those data and get patterns out of it. Everything in nature has a pattern actually. Like if someone is behaving something, then he has a pattern, she has a pattern of way of so that we know how, how, what is the personality of him or her, right? Like, like that, so we can analyze those patterns, so we can take a decision before the customer calling us. Because every, most of the information, most of the call, you might getting from the customer are, are very, very much similar, I hope so. So you have to analyze those data first, so that is the one thing. So let me give you an example for different banking sectors. Let's say what banking can do, you don't have to reinvent the wheel if you already have mobile phones, if you already have camera connected to your surroundings, premises, then you just have to gather all those information in a place and put AI on the top of it. Let's say using computer vision, you can analyze those image frames, what they are coming from your cameras. So what you can find is uh, how, what is a user, let's say, like counter my weight girl in Pari if you get those analysis from your camera, you can count people, count head of people from that system and who is the recording customer, who is waiting most of the time from the previous, previous uh, uh, time. And to see information, you can take a decision in the next step so that you don't have to, uh, let's say, like uh, customer support. So that you can take an action in a specific time, let's say every uh, year ko Sunday, Sunday, ekdam dere traffic unsa ki. Just, just get those data and analyze a pattern. Let's say Sunday, Sunday body traffic unsa wani. Just allocate resources for those that Sunday, so that you will be able to tackle those scenarios. And your customers should not wait for wait in a queue for long. So. Is to very information or just unse already I am is some of work system line a IoT jin hardware or ma chay AI embed one so kinsa ani AI chay only brain ne work or so it is more compatible compatible and is most important month ma chay. Okay, thank you very much Ashish. Now we move on to the next part which will be focusing on different areas and I would request audiences to come up with questions once, once uh, area has been discussed. Uh, for the first area we are going to talk about robotics because of course integration of robot and IoT is constantly pushing the boundaries of technology in creating new smart products that makes industry around the globe safe, productive and cost effective. And we are lucky to have uh, Mr. Sagar Shrestha, uh, whose company, Pila, uh, was involved in the development of first robot, Puri. So what I would like to know on behalf of the audience and everything is, how is it, you know, 
how difficult is it to introduce something in Nepal that is very unfamiliar? You know, uh, guide us through the ac acceptance, uh, you know. And of course, what do you see Puri or the future of Puri in industries like banking or even in for industries like, you know, uh, for a company like Subisu itself? Thank you, Sanjeev. I'm um, and Zoe Poyla, first robot, Puri, uh, first humanoid banking assistant robot commercially in Nepal ma available bako. Tiyo bona ko tiyo ro tiyo first ma meter greeter dosto mata tiyo. Then we developed uh, Ginger, a waiter robot. Jun Jun se amle nolo restaurant se ora demo restaurant dosto pani amlo test ko lai pani ora khole ko tiyo. Ani test pada se amle ekdom massive feedback payo mostly from outside Nepal. Nepal bhitra bada bande pani because a lot of other countries like European countries are interested in uh, these devices and they know where the world is going. Just say over next five years, my say over your um, jobs like cook, ko, cook cooking job, and this will see waiter ko job, and this will see driving job, security ko job, security personnel ko job, they, they, uh, they will exist uh, in very less amount in the next five years. Over these are the jobs that are very mundane and repetitive. Tiyo job haru aba hamle pani tei direction ma chai tyo tyo next 5 years ma chai waiter robot ko job chai garna sakos bhanera chai hamle introduce gareko thyau ginger robot ani we have been getting like orders and inquiries from more than 20 countries over the world aba and we are building a plant and we, we want to ship uh, our first robots this year. Our next uh, field one is a general purpose uh, um, business outlet. Business outlet, my receptionist, we have a second version of the second version of the deploy of the Nepal SBI Bank, and the BP Kuala Museum. It's a new museum. This is a tour guide for the tour guide in Nepal, SBI, the receptionist is deployed in this case. Right now, we are facing so many challenges. So, the first challenge is to introduce the robot to the Because most of the people know what a robot is. They have seen a lot of movies about it. So this like our expectations are very big, and there are many challenges to introduce. Our expectations are very tormented. Next time, I will also eat the jagir. I will eat the moderator. I will comment on that. It's very far from that. So that you know, we need to eat jagir, no food, we need to eat. But there will be new jobs. Jagir, cost of Jagir, when you go to the oil, you go to the receptionist, you go to the question, like repetitively, you go to the answer. That job, I don't think, but you job, line, man, say, or okay, only more creative job. This like personally, customers, and personally, engage, go to the like, you have no product, sell, go to the like, and say, invest, and so. अन्य रेस्टोरेंट में आपने अलग कि पर्सनल पर्सनल टॉस दिन को लगी से वेटर सरू जिससे ये जॉब से सिफ्ट होने सा ऑगमेंट होने सा जॉब से रिप्लेस बंदा पनी सो इट्स इट्स बीन हार्ड टू एक्चुअली मीट द एक्सपेक्टेशंस फर्स्ट एंड इट्स बीन हार्ड टू डेवलप द प्रोडक्ट कि ना वने वी डेवलप दिस Building a product uh, the way SoftBank does it is huge. It's it's uh, not less than ten million dollars. So I'm ekdom kam ma garnu parne thiye. So that was the major challenge. And uh, actually, our uh, I can't say it without uh, acting as if I'm boasting it. So uh, I haven't taken uh, a week a day off in like two and a half years, and my co-founders haven't also. 
except for the festivals, main festivals, of course. And then this, to build it, to build the hardware was the major challenge. Now we are, uh, actually we are done with the hardware and now we are focusing more on the software. We are focusing on uh, computer vision. We are focusing on NLP and we are focusing on reinforcement learning problem for multi-agent system. There are, if there are 10 robots, if a restaurant wants to buy 10 robots um, for a single place, for a single restaurant, then it will be chaotic. There will be people moving around, there will be robots um, going from one destination to another and each uh, robot will have a different start and goal location. So we are solving that problem using reinforcement learning, which is a machine learning technique. Um, so these are the things we are doing and hopefully in the next five years we, I think it appears to me that I think we, we will be a global leader in robotics. Okay, uh, let's move on to the audience. If someone has any question regarding IIT robotics, yeah, I, I can see a gentleman raising his hand. If someone could pass on the mic to him, uh, I would ask the question to be very concrete. Okay, uh, yes. Good morning, everybody. I'm from Nepal Police. And I listen to all of you panelists, and I'm getting very scared about the IoT device. Because I assume that the, I am the first investor in IoT to make our office smart or our country smart. And as you, as, as you discussed already, the IoT device is going to be integrated with the artificial intelligence. Sir, could you come to the question, please? Because we so, have a time limit. The, so my question is that, should we wait for the 5G technology, having the all IoT devices integrated with the artificial intelligence and start to make my office smart, or we, we should start from tomorrow, and then that device is not going to synchronize with the 5D, 5G technology which is going to come within two to three years. What should do I do? Okay. Uh, what is your say? Saga, please. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a choice. I don't think uh, you can say, okay, we'll, we can all agree on, okay, we'll start from tomorrow and not today. It's already started. Actually, there are, most of the devices now found are connected to the internet because uh, the vendors want power. They, they, if the data is, and the data they collect from those devices is power. For example, a, um, for example, a light bulb company might uh, now install motion sensors in your lights uh, and turn it on when there is motion. So, and it might be connected to the internet. By connecting it to the internet, you know when you want the light to be on, off, or how dim you light, want the light, how dim you want the light to be at a certain point of the day. So uh, it gives so much power to the vendor because, uh, um, to the company, because it, it, there's data coming from all its uh, customers, and you can uh, work on those data. You can uh, use AI to uh, you know, build models with those data that will make this uh, light turn on, off, and dim automatically. So um, I don't think it's a choice, but uh, we have, yes, it's, it's uh, fair to be concerned about it, and we have to find uh, regulatory uh, you know, actions, and uh, there should be laws against uh, you know, use of those data, but uh, I don't think it's a choice. Okay, since uh, we are- let, let me try to answer that, Sanjeev, just yeah. a quick one. Uh, so you, you are trying to say if it's going to synchronize with the 5G technology that's coming out say if you install it from tomorrow, right? So the issue here, how, how things are built these days for your, uh, for your IoT devices to work in your offices is that there is a hub that communicates with all your relay devices that are connected to your switches and to your electronic devices that are connected out there. So let's say tomorrow 5G is a thing that everybody needs, then all it's needed is a simple software upgrade or just you change the hub. But by implementing, <coughs> sorry, implementing IoT in your office, you're already being very efficient. The, the profits, the efficiency that you are making from tomorrow will be much larger than changing the hub and replacing the hub tomorrow or even upgrading the software. So I see that as a very basic option that you should go for from tomorrow itself and then not worry about if it's gonna synchronize tomorrow because leave that on us to solve the problem. You do your uh, business, run your business efficiently, make profits, we'll solve the problems for you. Okay, uh, since we already talked about, you know, touch the topic of home automation, I want to come to this area called home automation. And, you know, we talked about Alexa uh, a bit earlier and uh, 
our presenter, Mr. Hadeep, uh, talked about smart lightning and smart simple devices, right? But my, my concern to Alok is, Nepal smart unagalai ready sir. Or we talked, uh, you know, he talked about simple devices, and I myself am finding it very difficult to find these simple devices in Nepal, right? Because we are too much dependent on uh, to get things from India and China. So, what's your view on this one? Yeah. So there are two things. There are if we are ready, and then uh, what are the challenges basically? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, merely when you product banana thala kiri the biggest concern kithi banda. Are we trying to just replicate something that's out there already, or are we trying to uh, actually solve the problem in Nepal? So Amir could say entire vision can you do Let's not try to be uh, sound like the guys from Google or Amazon and try to be too hi-fi and sell this and that and that because the country itself is not even ready for it right now. But uh, internet connectivity around 70%. So just like that, Nepal body, Amro. And if Bakar Internet bad of Facebook world ma pugira thauma ek hi suri layer na ya kura gornu bane. Ra sabey zana ma tio level ko literacy pura ma time lagsa hai na. And at the same time, I mean, isto community ma kam gorso zha collectively ami kam hi gordo na koi pani. I mean, sab zana afa apna para la afa apna tira kam gorra so literacy ma to koi kam ne gorra so sabey apna product matre sell gorna sa tar nobody realizes ki the literacy is how how important literacy is to get there. But having said that. Country, say properly ready, sir. Kine ki malai din din traffic jam mon par dena, na. Malai traffic jam mabini malai smart lights aur chahiye, sir. Malai wish there were smart cars. Ani despite si malai din din ban outer pani ko motor on gan mal lag dena. I wish there was automation system, and that's what is implemented at my house too right now. And so manche rule jati technology jati faster grow karte jaan sir manche rule kala jati faster adapt kar sir pani jaise hoy na. तर मान्छे होले बिस्तार बिस्तार तल अडाप्ट से करने से अनि रामायण लोग रखे सब बंदा नेपाल मार से तो पहले तेज कुराला इस सोस्तो रसूल अब तरीका ले प्रेजेंट करने सोखने बाय बनी मान्छे ले लीन उनसे एक्सपेरिमेंट करने उनसे ट्राई करने उनसे अनि दैट वाज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज फॉर अस एंड दैट्� uh, we do not replace the switches at your places. We had to just add the relay switches behind your uh, existing switches and just add a hub uh, and then uh, uh, not have a server with us, but just let the hub communicate and the hub is inside your house. So the part of the security issue is resolved as well. Uh, so, uh, just like just you are Alok, we talked about smart lighting, right? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Hadi talked about smart lighting. और एक छोटा महीना में स्मार्ट लाइटिंग आलिंग सा है ना फिर यानी दो ही महीना में दूल्हा लाख सा जान सा है ना सो डू यू थिंक इट्स रियली पॉसिबल फॉर नेपाल टू लुक इनटू दिस थिंग्स नेपाल में एक्चुअली स्मार्ट लाइटिंग सही ना बैठो मत नेपाल में सोलर लाइट मात्रे आई नो मेल तो पत्रिका में पढ़ने हो IoT is a case of course IoT is a like we don't actually मिलाए रखने हो बनी से ये existing lights हो रुलाई पनी कोई ले big rings होता त्यो कुरा को notify proper departments और मैं they can get notified prior right and then at the same time why are we losing so much money on electricity while electricity is not abundant in this country अने तीस को लागी पनी you know what we have developed and a lot of other IoT companies have done as well is uh, the scheduling lighting that works with the uh, sunrise and sunset times and also you can again schedule it yourself and i mal dekhe gocha sabai bhanda important arko euta usage bhane nepal ma public offices haru ma dekhchu ke public offices ko tyo lines haru the public offices ma kaam garne tarika haru yo sabai kura la automate garna sakinchha iot ra ai ko madhyam bata the because i ma us ma hunda heri ke hunthe bhane ma kun din dmb jani mala tha hunthe ke dmb bhane hamro license lin jan thau wa ko so, I mean, license then, like, I'm a kundin goi, but I'm here to come sit on, so I'm like, how on there? You know, as a flow, I'm like, how on there? Similarly, I'm like, similarly, I'm like, 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 uh, customer service representative does for you. So I can cancel my card within that bot. I can uh, ask where the nearest ATM is. I can ask my balance. Uh, I can do transfers and whatnot. Any, anything you can imagine you can do with your uh, banking application app that Erika is able to do it for you now. 
सो एज अ होल नेपाल अटोमेशन को लगी रेडी है तर एक्सेप्टेन्स को मैं क्या हो एक्सेप्टेन्स को कुरा को अब सेकेंड पार्ट में ज्यादा चैलेंजेस को कुरा में क्या गाड़ो भैर भाई एवं तो हम सदैंभरी को एक्जिस्टिंग एवर एक्जिस्टिंग इट्स सो रिटर्न लन दैट वी टक अबाउट पॉलिसीज 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 या देर इज सो मच पॉलिसी बर्न लाइक आई रन अ हाईली सक्सेसफुल सिल्कन व्याली कंपनी उसको सब्साइडरी यहाँ इन नेपाल कल सिल्कन हायर एंड देन आई एम रनिंग अ प्रपर नेपाली स्टार्टअप कल भिजिल टेक्नोलॉजीज यहाँ तर द गवर्मेंट ट्रीट्स दिस बोथ कंपनीज एज एज सेम आई एम नट गेटिंग एनी टैक्स सब्साइडरी बींग अ रिटर्नी और ओपनिंग अ स्टार्टअप एंड नन अफ दैट and our financial sector is not giving us uh, non collateral loans or anything and uh, offering me 1 lakh of credit card is not a loan for a startup trust me that does not help i mean so uh, other other issues are the production issues i think you brought it up earlier too uh, production ko kura haru cha jun nepal ma hami produce garna sakdanau exim code lina ko lagi arko hasal cha euta sanu nepal ko lagi sanu startup ko lagi 3 lakh फिक्स डिपोजिट में राखे एक्जिम कोड लिख इज अ बिग डील दैट्स दैट्स अ वेरी बिग डील फर नेपाली स्टार्टअप्स दैट आर ट्राइंग टू ग्रो आउट अवन महावीर पुन जस्त दाई जो अल्लेम स्ट्रगल कर पड़ रहा भादा खेल तो यहाँ नेपाली स्टार्टअप को लगी अटोमेशन यो आईओटी एआई इंडस्ट्री हमी सब जाना को लगी प्रब्लम्स नहीं प्रब्लम्स एंड वे आर द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव्स दैट वी आर सेंडिंग आउट आई डो नो वट कैंड रिप्रेजेंटेटिव्स वी आर सेंडिंग आउट आई डेंट गेट टू वोट लास्ट टाइम बाई दू आई एम नट गोन कंप्लेन मच बट देन अगेन the representatives we are sending out are not basically doing their job uh, leaders haru bhaneko sabai it experts huna parcha bhanne chaina political leaders haru but their job is to bring these experts together and formulate the policies that works for all of us uh, i don't know why we still have academicians running the ministries uh, our finance minister is so adamant in uh, closing down payment gateways uh, what are you going to do when you are running a business when you can't even transfer 1 lakh rupees online that's one lakh is a limit if you want to do it online and then 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 we are talking about automation and smart home and all of that and innovations and while we are stuck in such a such a not so over here in a warm hole and we cannot even get out why is my euta kura thapnu chan jai nepal chai adapt kina ready chha ki chaina bhanna ko lagi chai aile scenario ke cha bhanda ke exactly exactly ma hami je face garira chau aile bhane company start garne bhanyo iot device banauchau bhanera bhanyo यूएस बना थालियो प्लस प्रब्लम तो मेन पावर छाइन लिटरली भन्न पाता लाइक मेन पावर छेन के भादा खेल में इवन मई भू वेन आई वॉज अब टू फिनीस माई ग्रेजुएसन और बिफोर स्टार्टिंग माई बैचल बैचल सिक्रे मैं के करते भाई म विदेश जानु भे क्या इवन आई ट्राई आई स्टार्टेड माई आइल्स क्लास अस पे होना फिर यहीं पढ़् पर्व भिजा लगे समथिंग के भो जुना आई स्टार्टेड माई बैचल सिक्री इन स्टार्टेड जोइन रिडिंग रियल सिनारियो भन्द अभी पे वन आई फिनीस माई ग्रेजुएसन अभी के रियलाइज भाई एटलिस्ट बाहर के मानी सोता है यहाँ तो दुख है यार अस्ट्रेलिया दुख है कैनाडा दुख है यूएस दुख है कहीं ना कहीं स्किल सिक आऊ सब कस कस हमने कई सजेसन दिए सो वी स्टार्टेड लर्न एटलिस्ट म एक वर्ष सिक्स मंथ बस अभी प्रोग्रामिंग सिकेर जा आई वॉज फ्रम इंजीनियरिंग बैकग्राउंड अभी प्रोग्रामिंग सिकेर जाने बसे अग्ते मैं होने अज धे सीक्न पर्व अज धे सीक्न पर्व भील हो जेनरली तेई अब ने ये आउटसोर्सिंग काम अथवा सफ्टवेयर को काम जेनरली बाहर को काम कर यूएस कैनाडा अस्ट्रेलिया इस अरुण कंट्री में काम कर क्लाइंट्स कम्युनिकेसन होने थाले अभी रियलाइज भो कि वी आर वी आर कंपिटेटिव टू वर्क इन द वर्ल्ड सिनारियो है जब सब कंपनी उन्नीर को डेवलपरस बसर हम काम करना सकते वी आर एबल टू डू एवरीथिंग तो तर के भैर प्रब्लम यहाँ भादा खेल मे अड़क बस क्योंकि वी हेव स्टार्ट आवर कम ओन कंपनी वी वांटेड टू जेनेट मोर मेन पावर फर एआई एंड डेटा साइंस यदि बाहर गयो भी हम कंपनी डिप कंपनी को रिप्रेजेंटेटिव करें भोल तैं कंपनी हो रिसोर्सेस तैंको प्रोडक्ट प्रोजेक्ट पठाने तो तरीके जाऊँला भाई मेन्टालिटी बनाऊ बस अज मेन चाहे डिजिटाइज कर बस है यहाँ प्रब्लम के भैदि भादा खेल तो सबस न होता जेनरली लेट्स एटी नाइन्टी पर्सेंट स्टूडेंट्स कहीं सिके एटलिस्ट काम कर सफ्टवेयर कंपनी में अथवा कुछ भी कंपनी काम कर एक वर्ष बस फैमिली नहीं एक्सेप्ट करते ठूल काम करम जागिर खाई राम उसे बिजनेस स्टार्ट कर ऊ बा गई सकते हैं उसे फ्यूचर उसे फ्यूचर में करूँ पड़ने गोल एचिव करे छेन भाई सोसाइटी तेल ऊ प्रेसराइज हो रहा बाहर जानू पड़ने ट्रेन छिहारी कर आयल्स कर ऊ चाहे स्किल्स भाग बड़ी जिहारी रयल्स में फोकस कर क्लास सकू अगड़ी जिहारी जोइन कर दिस इज द रियल सिनारियो दैट आई एम सींग राइट नाउ अभी काम करने एक वर्ष काम करे के इवन हम हम फेस कर एक वर्ष जी काम करमस सीख 
होने अब तो मैं जानू पर्च चार पांच वर्ष पुग्न पर्व खास में एट लेवल को सीनियरिटी लेवल पुग्न ला एक वर्ष नपुगेन छोड़ दिशा अभी बाहर जा अब के भैर यहाँ भादा खेल बाहर जाना अब उसे चैलेंज फेस कर रैंडमली जे काम कर व्हाट एवर है तो अभी अरुण के भादा खेल हमी चाहे मेन पावर प्रड्यूस कर प्रड्यूस कर दुनिया कर दुनिया इन्वेस्टमेंट कर कम्युनिटी भी रन कर बिफोर एट एआईडी एम नेपाल भाई कम्युनिटी सुन्न भाग तेज हमें एआई डेटा साइंस में लिजो ते बेला हम चार पाँचजा मैं भाई बड़ी थे ते बेला एआई डेटा से काम करने हो हमें मेन पावर थ्रो करें पर्च हम लगे कम्युनिटी में थ्री थाउजेंड प्लस स्टूडेंट्स कंटिन्स फोर्टीन विक्स कंटिन्स हमी फ्री एआई क्लासेस ट्रेनिंग क्लासेस दूम है कोई कंटिन्टी करने कोई कर नगर्ने एटलिस्ट हमीस सयजा मेन पावर थे अभी सयजा मेन पावर लेकर फिर हमें अरु थ्री था अरु तीन तीन हजार मानेला एक्स्ट्रा हमें पढ़ाएं क्या तेज करते करते गए अलग अलग मेन पावर हमें अलग सजिलो तर प्रब्लम भैर है नहीं क्या एक तो काम करने मेन पावर छाइन अर्क आईटी डिवाइस बना भेन प्रब्लम अर्क आईटी सामान कि बांगे मुड़ा जानू पड़ने ठाव है एटा रियलिटी भन्न पर्ता डिवाइस बनाने लगी कुछ ठाव सामान कि गई भोलि सामान लिया न सके बिग्री तो कह आरीका आँच सामान को ग्यारेटी छाइन इन्वेस्ट कर पकेट बड़ा कति हालने है अर्क बाहर मगन लाई अनलाइन अनलाइन मीडिया कहीं भी छेन हम मैं कोई इंडिया तीर होता है कहीं चाइना तीर होता कति तीर होता सो दैट हमें कसा मगाई देना भन्न पर्व रही पठाईदे भन्न पर्चा तो फिर सजिलो छाइन महीनों लग् हफ्त आशीष कस्त दुख को दुख सो चैलेंजेस तरह भाई चैलेंजेस फेस करना हमें अलग स्ट्रंग इनफ हो रहा हमें जे जी अवेलेबल सीस्टम कंपोनेंट्स रो इजीली अवेलेबल कस बना सकता भाई भाई हमी कर सकता तर लाइक एज अ टेक्नोलॉजी एज अ हो एज अ नलेज को हिसाब से रेडी नाक है अभी अगर तब जो स्लाइड्स एक दिन बन पांच दिन नभकन बिग्रे जाना भाई ये हम हमी में प्रब्लम छाई हमी ऊ कर दिन क्या हम गवर्नमेंट प्रपर्टी हम प्रपर्टी जस्तु लगे अस पच्चीस प्लस यूजर हे ये चलाइने अब तस्त अब कस कसरी तो टिपे हिड़दिने भत्काईदिने हमी आप अलग सुरक्षा कर दून कति कुछ तर जिस हम आप एजुकेटेड भूरा हम रियली एड रेडीटली अब प्रब्लम है अब वी वी टॉक्ड अबाउट अ लॉट अफ यू नो इश्यूज फ्रम यूजर्स पर्स्पेक्टिव फ्रम अ कंपनी पर्स्पेक्टिव राइट बट अब दे आर अ लॉट अफ सिक्युरिटी कंसर्न्स एज वेल एंड सिंस दे आर पीपल फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट एंड डिफरेंट इंडस्ट्रीज माई क्वेश्चन यू नो माई फाइनल सेक्टर इज अफकोर्स सिक्युरिटी एंड आई वुड लाइक मिस्टर द्वारिका टू चिप इन यू नो वाट डज दीज कंसर्न्स मीन फॉर नेपाल फॉर कंट्री लाइक नेपाल राइट like we talked about uh, a use case of tourism you right? know so in terms of tourism what can nepal nepalese government nepalese industry look into and how can they secure it in terms of iot usage and ai usage in it yeah so based on the conversation what uh, uh, ashish and alok has uh, pointed it out so if you look at from an iot use case perspective this is more relevant each use case is relevant to it uh, geography demography and the economy okay so it cannot be generalized point number one point number two uh, if we are looking at a use case which is uh, w- which you have brought it up around a tourism right now if we are looking from a country perspective then there are requirement on one hand you have requirement of a technology right which uh, the, there is an iot aspect which comes in the other side comes around is uh, the policies because it is also important that the government policies or the uh, uh, authorities right they have a, uh, uh, they work in a tandem along with the technology then only the benefits can be reaped across so like take an example of a security when we speak about right from a tourist perfect uh, perspective the tourist comes into the uh, nepal uh, boundary right so he comes in he does immigration so that is the only point where you have the data collected now he goes to a hotel now today we don't have any kind of a synchronization of or there is an authority at the top who is talking to both immigration as well as the hotel database to check whether the uh, uh, the guy who came into nepal has really where, where is he located because what you are doing is you are just filling a form and then you are giving it across right and you are just dependent on that information so this is one aspect part of it then second thing is when he is exiting so right from the entry till the exit all the places where he is uh, taking part whether it is any tourism activity or whether he is taking any other activity 
If all this can be synchronized together, that's where you are able to provide a proper kind of a security to the uh, uh, tourist who comes into the airport. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, can we take questions from the floor? Like if anyone has, yeah, please, uh, would someone provide a mic to the gentleman? Hello. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Ashish. Uh, quickly coming to the question. Uh, about IoT uh, used uh, in a home environment, um, what I'm more concerned about is security for a country like Nepal or India, uh, where literacy is very low, especially when it comes to IT. And we already have, uh, we have to tell people even not to click on pop-up ads and install things on your computer. And we already have a case of uh, cryptocurrency mining on uh, IoT devices like refrigerators, washing machines. So how secure would it feel to connect all your devices in, uh, uh, in your place to the internet and expect that your data doesn't leak or expect a, pr a private life after doing that without uh, really understanding the consequences of that? Like where do we stand and are we ready for it yet? That, that's my question. Uh, can I take another last question before yeah. we move on to the answers? Uh, which is actually good, right? Uh, so let's move on to the answer, yeah. answer part, right? I would I uh, first ask. Question what uh, Ashish has brought it, and uh, what uh, Ashish has brought it is a really important point, right? Uh, we have to really uh, differentiate between uh, IoT and automation, okay? What we are talking about connecting all our devices out of our home is nothing, it's not an IoT, it's an automation. So basically what you are doing is based on certain rules, you are taking an action. Whether it is increasing the air condition uh, uh, fan, fan speed or decreasing it. So this is automation. Now, the moment when you connect any device which is connected to the internet, that is the pl place where you are actually getting into a security issues, right? See, any security solution which you take about, I'm not talking about trying to sell or uh, talk about anything, but any security related solution which you talk about comes with a cost. Today, uh, uh, today, uh, whether you take India or whether you take Nepal, any of the SARC, India or the SARC countries, right? We have a mindset of spending less. If, I, if I'm getting uh, uh, any device for 10,000 rupees and if I'm getting a device for 500 rupees, I will prefer go and select 500 because for us money is a very important aspect of it. and this is what is actually explored because when you bring in the device i would not expect a common man to be knowledge enough to understand what are the security loopholes that particular device brings in right it is connecting it to it and when you connect these kind of devices onto the internet right what happens is that particular device actually talks in the back end to one of the other server so basically, a device which you bought it with your hard-earned money is not your device. Rather, it is sending all your information across to somebody else. And then you are vulnerable to the cyber, cyber crime part of it. Right? So uh, this is not a, a topic which can be really address so easily about it. Uh, it, is, it all totally depends, as I said, uh, from use case to use case. You have to decide what is my perimeter under which I want to keep certain devices. What is that particular device which I want to give access to the internet? Internet definitely brings in a convenience, but it brings in the convenience at a particular cost. Are we ready for it? Is a call what we need to take. Yeah, let, me, let, me, let me add a little bit to what Vaita said too. <clears throat> so I'll, I'll try to share you an experience of how and what we did Very while briefly. we were trying to develop our system. I'll keep it short, <laughs> yeah. trust me. Okay. And so the biggest problem was everybody, uh, somebody who knows security systems or not, everybody would come in and just ask, how secure is it? What's the security? What's the security? So the solution to it uh, we found was to connect your devices uh, through the hub within an intranet. Not to the internet, but to the intranet. So basically our system doesn't even require internet to work. It just works on the wireless network that, you're, that the router produces for your, for your house. And then, but then again, there are a lot of folks who want to control everything from everywhere in the planet. So that's when uh, we uh, had to 
make it adaptable to AWS and then GCP uh, and also just last week we have been able to connect it with Siri as well. So it works for Siri as well. But like you said, it connects with the server with them and then that sends uh, data to the other end and that's how they communicate and how that, that's how the entire thing works. Uh, the important thing for people, if you are installing something at your house and if you are connecting your devices, your private devices, is to know if that particular, know the background, what kind of product it is. If you're using Alexa, I want you to look into AWS, if it is FCC weighted or not, look into that. And then um, having, having said all of that, there are always issues like uh, if, I cannot help you if your password is password one, two, three, right? Then as long as you don't share your passwords, don't put in easy passwords, a lot of these security issues can be resolved. And, uh, and I would like to add one more thing to that. That's again the policy part, that our country is still nowhere ready to talk about this kind of stuff. Uh, FCC, after looking at Google, Facebook, go through all the actions in the United States in the Senate and answering to all the senators, uh, well, we would have thought being Oscar Ali as an advisor of our prime minister as well, I was thinking that kind of policies would just eventually start coming in, but which hasn't, and I'm hoping with all the IT new IT bills coming in, that will come in. But it's high time we need to start thinking about that right now. So uh, we don't start allowing the booming companies, the startups that only know so much to uh, do things uh, thinking it's legal and eventually it becomes illegal, similar to what happened with Tootle recently. Uh, because technically that was not illegal at the time when the company started, but now they're trying to bind him together within it. So uh, it's high time we all think about it. But then again, if you are too concerned about security, then uh, I, the best way to work about it is to do your due diligence and ask as many questions as possible and look into it before you purchase or use that product. Okay, thank you, Alok. Uh, that brings us to the end of this panel discussions. Uh, in the panel discussions, soon the Harry Ekdame, Duhip Ne, Parnu was a way in Nepal, Maze, problem matrix, threats matrix. Of a pilot technology list of a Zagir when Kaidin is just the heroes in the right. But I think there's still hope. I know there's still hope. Uh, uh, can I, can I? Yeah, sure, sure. Please. Thing for, okay, there is a bleak Kura Ruba. I think there are so many opportunities. You must take them hopeful to give you a startup uh, ecosystem. I just say grow by Ragosa. Just say two tall potha let you transport and transportation go. You are part of the problem to the rest all work. So, the lax I know. Stay. You start up ecosystem, Lene, you Uru Uru problem or Puni Amro, Sobe, solve Gona Soxa, solve Gona Sosalaxa, only your challenges or any Amro, like you, Egdom Tulu opportunities or your new businesses or grow Nogalagi, you know. But problem in Novako, US also this walk away, and your products was not like Koti Garon, okay. US man, Zun of Ocel Noya idea, right, and so you tooth, toothbrush like Cosseri optimized or Gumoni, et alta, this to Sansano, this the first world problem or solve Gona Koti. Creative design, sir. Or oil, like our problem solve, or not? creative design, sir. Do one huge difference in such a our one solution problem solve, one solution, sir. One is because just say, for example, of traffic lights, go traffic IoT, like ne, or your traffic congestion, like what's the minimize, or not? Such a one, or our one, this month, or oil, some. Uh, traffic light or ram ready install bako sa hai na tar ab jab install huncha tyo traffic light or all smart traffic lights se iot internet sang connected uh, traffic lights se install bhayo bhani tyo traffic light kasari route garna sakinchha jusle garda feri congestion kam huna sakinchha yes. actually that i was that can be implemented ani tyo pani hamre startup haru le implement garna saksha ke that's not it's not that hard so oh, okay. i'm more so, hopeful so about yeah, that time we yeah, are up for time and actually yo ta mero note hai herra boldinu bhako jasta lai because i was going to tell the same thing so it's high time the government and industry looks into iot uh, what we came to the conclusion is IoT and AI is not for tomorrow, it's already for now. And our government and our industry should look, uh, look into it now itself, right? Uh, but of course, I think the foremost thing that needs to be looked is into the awareness of these technologies and, you know, we should look forward in developing manpower for these technologies. I would like to thank the panelists for their excellent opinions on different matters and I would Thank, like to thank Subisi for giving us the opportunity for this panel discussion. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone.